All right, y'all, we back with another one uh, today. And this video is going to be kind of a quicker video, but I wanted to show you guys how to turn a picture, just any regular photo into a screen print to go and put on your shirts or your designs or however you want to print it on. Maybe it's just artwork. Anyways, we're going to show you how to turn a photo using halftones into a screen print. I did this once before and it ended up being like one of my best selling shirts. I sold over 500 of them um, just off a picture that I took in Korea. I turned into a picture or I turned into a screen print. And like I said, it was my best selling shirt, sold over 500 of them. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick tutorial because since I got back from Korea, I took another cool picture that I wanted to turn into another screen print for a shirt. So I thought I might as well bring you guys along with me, kind of show you the process of how it's done and hopefully you guys can learn something do it yourself and use it in your own designs or however you want to use it so let's get into it i'm going to show you guys uh, my process of how i do this all right so one of the first things you need obviously is a screen for screen printing i got a fresh pack of two of them right here um these have been my favorite like affordable affordability wise they're like 30 bucks each or something like that i think on amazon I'll put the link in my description if you guys want to use the same ones that I use. I've gone through probably 20 of these and I love all of them. All of them been holding up for the most part. So it's a good one to buy. If you don't know, really know what you want, then click that link in my description. You can go ahead and pick up these same ones. Like I said, they're like 30 bucks each. I get two for 60 is usually what I do, but you can buy like a four pack or a six pack or whatever you want. But I'll put that link in the description for you guys. Now the second thing that you're going to need to do this is a inkjet printer to be able to print those transparency sheets. Um, I use a Canon Pixma and I'll show you why I use that one and why I like that one. First of all, it's like the most affordable for what it does too. But uh, the other option if you don't have a printer is you can go to your local, you know, whatever store offers printing for you. Like if, I don't know if it's like a UPS store or something like that. I don't know which ones do it or FedEx, but you know some of those shops offer printing so you can get transparency sheets printed there if you want to go that route if you don't have a printer but once again i'll have the printer i'm using in my description too if you want to go grab that one from amazon i did a lot of research and found that this was like the cheapest one that had the most quality and did the most features that i wanted for screen printing so i bought this one pretty much specifically for the purpose of screen printing and it's been great for the past year or two that i've been using it so I'll have that one in the link in the description too if you want to use the same one I'm using. So the first step is we're going to use your laptop or your computer or whatever you got. Maybe you're just grinding. You could do this on a Photoshop on your school computer or library maybe if they have Photoshop or something. I don't know. But most of you guys probably have some type of computer or something. So we're going to start on there in Photoshop and we're going to turn the picture into a half tone. That way we can print it on a transparency sheet. So let's get into that. All right, so the first thing you want to do is obviously open up your photo that you want to use in Photoshop. I was going to use this cool little like street picture I took in one of the little like alley streetways in Korea. I thought it's cool with the signs and stuff. So um, I'm going to try to turn this into a half tone to screen print. So the first step of doing this is you're going to want to go to image. You're going to want to go to mode. And then you're going to turn it to grayscale. That way it turns to black and white, basically. In gray, there's no color in there because obviously if you're setting this up for a screen print, unless you're doing a multiple screens layered for colors, um, for me, I just print these in one color. So you kind of want it all the same color of black and white. It makes it easier. The next thing you're going to do is go to mode again. Now that it's in grayscale, you will be able to press this button right here at the top that says bitmap. You're going to go ahead and press that one. Now you're going to be able to play with this output and see what gives you the best results for this print. I want it really detailed and stuff. So I'm doing 300 pixels per inch right here. And then under method, I'm doing halftone screen. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And like I said, you can change these numbers around and just find one that works for you, whether you want bigger, bigger circles that's a little less detailed but easier to print, or if you want smaller ones that are a little more easy to print. So just play with it. Find the one that works for you. Um, for this picture, I want it really detailed, so I'm going to do 15 by 45 angle and press OK. And there you can see it's already got 
the halftone and the best way to test if it is looking good or not is really zoom in and you can see those clear kind of black dots so this should work for screen printing um, as long as you have a higher mesh count on your screen so this looks pretty good just like that you've turned your image into a halftone that is ready to print you're just going to press file and print And then set the settings how you want. Obviously, you can crop the photo, make it how big you want. Um, the cool thing about the printer that I have is I like you can do bigger than regular print paper. You can do 11 by 17, which is one of the reasons I chose this printer. So you get a little bit bigger of a print. Anyways, I've already printed it, but uh, I'm just showing you guys this is the exact process of how. So if I wanted to, I would press print and it would start printing. So once again, this is the printer I use for all of my screen printing. I like it because you can change the paper size. You can go all the way up to um, 11 by 17 in length and it's just a little bit bigger. You can fill out like a whole screen with designs like I got like that big heart right there. So that's why I went with this one. Like I said, I already printed mine, but all you do is press print. You're going to set it to the highest detail quality settings. Um, you can play with it, find what works for your settings, but that's all you really do. Send it through here. And then you're going to put, obviously, transparency paper in your printer and print it onto there. Here's the final product of the picture I did. Um, I did crop it a little bit so it's not as long. Put it against the white there, you can see. Um, hopefully you guys can see. So that's how it's looking on the 11 by 17 transparency paper. Like I said, you could get this done in a shop or something too if you don't have the printer, but I mean, the it's kind of a hassle to always go. If you're screen printing a lot, I recommend buying one of these printers. It was not that expensive and it's been super worth it. When I lay it on a white background, you can kind of see this is really fine detail with really small halftone dots, but um, it comes out looking really detailed and photorealistic. So let's hope this works. Now for these more detailed prints, I like to use Mesh Count 305 but I messed up and I ordered the wrong ones this time and I got 230, but that's still a higher mesh count. So I think it should work. But if you guys were doing this, I'd recommend buying like a 305 mesh count. But for this video, I'm gonna be using 230 and I'm gonna hope that works. All right, so you got your transparency sheet printed out. I got my blank screen and my emulsion ready to go. This is ready to be coated. I'm not gonna go too much into the exact like how to screen print process because I've already done a full video on that, on how to coat your screens, how to dry them, how to burn them, all that kind of stuff. So if you are stuck on not knowing how to do that, make sure you watch my how to screen print video before you watch this one so you get an idea of what I'm doing and you'll be able to follow around a little better. But for now, got the screen, got the emulsion. We're gonna coat it real quick and get it ready to dry. All right, so we got our screen all coated and now we wait. We gotta let it dry now. So it usually takes a couple hours. I put it in a dark light safe area. Like I said, if you guys haven't already seen my how to screen print video, um, I show you each step of what I'm doing on just basic screen printing. We're just applying those same steps right now, but we're using the halftone to be able to print the image. So 
yeah, we got a couple hours to wait and let it dry, and then I'll come back in and check in with you guys and show you what's next. And while those screens are drying, it's a perfect time for me to show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, so first up, we got this hat, which says pain creates art and art eases the pain. It's kind of like an unstructured five panel. Um, should be dropping these pretty soon, sometime in the next week or two, probably. Then I've also got these kind of vintage faded sweaters you guys saw in the last video I've been working on. These are still up on the website on Scumbag Society if you guys want to grab one of these. And then same print on this blue shirt came out really nice. I like this one a lot. Just released this one on the Scumbag Society website as well. So make sure you go grab one if you guys like these. And then finally, obviously, these Korea tees I'm working on right now with the screen print I'm showing you guys in this video. Obviously, by the time this video is done and the print's done, I'll probably have those released on the By Derek website and TikTok. So show you guys that at the end of the video and just want to do give myself a little mid-video plug, let you guys know what I've been working on and stuff. So if you guys want to cop something, make sure you go check out my websites. Go run it up. I appreciate y'all. All right, y'all, it has been a few hours now. My screen should be dry and good to go. Um, so this next step, like I said before, you guys should watch my how to screen print video if you haven't already seen it. But anyways, the next step in screen printing in general would be to take that transparency sheet that we made earlier and I'm going to flip it around so that it's reversed onto the screen. That way, when I lay the screen flat, the design is the correct way. Um, Hopefully that makes sense. It, like I said, watch my last screen printing video. It'll make sense. I showed it better on there. Um, anyways, I'm going to tape that transparency sheet onto my screen with the dry emulsion. I'm going to burn it on the light box and then I'm going to wash it out in the shower and hopefully it all works out if everything goes according to plan. Um, the room's going to be dark. You need to do this in a no light environment. So that's why I'm kind of explaining it now that way because it's going to be dark and I'm just going to do it real quick. So um, it's better to explain what I'm doing beforehand and then you guys can see it. So let's get into it. Let's grab the screen and start burning it. All right, so seems dry enough. I'm going to take transparency sheet. This is the correct way. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to try to get it as centered as I can. Seems pretty good. Take some tape. Okay, now I'm going to take it over to the light box. So I'm going to run this one for a minute and 30 seconds and see how that works. Should be good. All right, y'all. So it is the next day now. I let that screen kind of chill and dry overnight because did the washout and stuff. It was already like eight or nine at night and it was all wet. And um, usually I put them like outside in the sun to dry or something, but since it was night, it was taking a while and I didn't want to wipe it down and all that. Anyways, I just left it chilling all night. It's nice and dry, but I think this print is going to turn out super fire because the screen looks super detailed. It looks like it came out perfect. I think the 230 mesh worked out fine. Hold up. I'll show you guys real quick. So you guys can see, I mean, that's as detailed as a screen print can get. Hopefully it comes out fire when I actually print it. We'll see, but so far the screen is looking really good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is use this painter's tape and just kind of tape around the edges here where it washed out. Just The reason I have to do this is because my light box is smaller than the actual screen. 
so you can see the edges like wash out because the light box doesn't hit those parts. Eventually I want to get a bigger one, but for now I just end up taping the edges off when I do that. Also, you guys, this blank hoodie, uh, I know I mentioned it in my last video about blanks, but this hoodie is from Renee Bassett. Uh, I know a lot of you guys ask when I wear these blank hoodies that have a really nice fit. Uh, this is just a great company. If you guys need blanks, be sure to check them out. Um, I talked more about them in my last video about blanks if you want to check that out, but it's what I'm wearing today and it's super comfy and fits great and it's really good quality. So if you guys need a good blank, check out Renee Bassett for sure. Also got on the new hat I'm working on. Like I said, I'm going to drop these in probably the next week or so. So be on the lookout for these if you want one on the Scumbag Society website. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tape off these edges. Almost out of tape, need to get some more. <laughs> I am out of tape. All right. So I ran out of painter's tape and I don't have any more. I'm gonna just use some scotch packing tape and it works the same. taped and good. I know it looks goofy because I got <laughs> one part painter's tape and the rest packing tape, but it's okay. It's the print that matters, not, not how the screen looks. So let's see how it looks on a print. Let's put it on a shirt, see how it comes out. I have a feeling it's going to be fire. I think I'm going to like this one better than the last Korea print, honestly. So honestly, I think, so I did the last Korea tea with black ink and it turned out cool and everything and obviously it was like I said it was one of my best selling items I sold like over 500 shirts but I think I want to do this one in red I don't know I just have like a vision in my head on a white tee with the red print in the middle I think it'll look clean and I also have some ringer tees with the red sleeves and red collar and I think this could be cool on that too so I'm gonna try it out with red starting off if I really hate it then I'll wash the screen and use black later but we're gonna try it with red starting off. Let's see how it looks. So for a test print, I'm gonna use one of my old misprints from the last Korea T. I'm just gonna do it on the back of this. Um, this was like one that came out a little crooked, so I'm not selling it or anything anyways. It'll be a good test print shirt. So I'm gonna throw this loaded on the press and we're gonna see how it does. I'm gonna get it lined up perfectly in the middle here. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's super cool. So, I mean, you guys can see how detailed that came out. What's really cool is even like this little bit of shading almost came out as like some clouds. That's, I couldn't have asked for any better. That looks so cool, honestly. You can see it's, it's pretty much picture perfect. Super detailed. All right, so that test came out pretty much perfect how I wanted it to. 
Um, next one I'm going to throw it on is this ringer tee. I think that's going to look super clean with the red. And then I'm also going to just throw it on a all white tee because um, I'm going to sell both of those probably. So I'm going to print both those, see how they look on those. Then I'll show you guys the final product. And that's about it on printing these pictures. Hopefully it was helpful and you guys can go be creative and come up with some cool pictures. I'd love to see them. Send them my way. If this inspires you to make some, but let's print them on these, see how they look on the actual shirts now. <laughs> Alright, so here's how the red one turned out. Came out perfect, honestly. The details, the clouds, everything's perfect on there. And here's how the all white one came out. Super fire, too. Let me know in the comments which one do you guys like better the all white or the red outline kind of ringer tee. Alright, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully it inspired you guys to go make something dope. Like I said, I would love to see what this inspired you guys to make. Um, DM me on my Instagram account on Scumbag Society or by Derek and show me some of the stuff you guys made from this and I'd love to see it. And if you guys want to cop one of these Korea tees that I just printed today, I should have them on my website uh, by Derek.co. Or if you guys want to cop like this hat or those kind of um, university vintage style sweaters, those will be on scumbagsociety.com. Like I said, that's my main way, main source of income and stuff. I'm not partnered with YouTube or anything to be getting monetized. So all the support you guys give me through my websites and copping pieces and stuff really means the world to me. And all the stuff you guys need, I'll have all the links in my description to both my websites, to um, my TikTok and Instagram accounts, all that good stuff. And if you guys are appreciating these videos and you feel like they're helpful, please drop a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you liked about the video, all that good stuff. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate y'all.